starting here with another episode of Black Ops 3 the campaign. Alright, I don't really believe I need to look anything. I don't think I've leveled up. Um, why the hell am I? It wouldn't hurt to take a quick look. Uh, I don't think I've reached any higher level. Let's see. No, I'm still stuck at that level. Oh well, let's continue on. Wait. What mission I'm going to next? Uh, this is not where I was last at. Um, shit. Uh, uh, select mission. Okay, that should be it. Hmm. I'll stick with this for now. Okay, calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're smarter than you. our objectives. Man's always gonna be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustain life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. Oops, I hit my mic. Shit. Um, not too long from now, I will be getting a better mic. Like, uh, one that's not attached to my headset and stuff. Um, that. Also, eventually I am going to be rearranging my computer setup. Hey! So I'm not crowded next to my damn door all the time. Welcome back. Taylor? Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Now, if our cybernetics were that advanced today. Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo prototype for the Winslow Corps. This part I'm going to skip because we've already seen it for the most part. They just wouldn't let me skip earlier, unfortunately. I've already seen this part too. That's going to be fun. Here we go. <laughs> that is funny. Flanking right. There's never just one room. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. No shit. There we go. Switch it to tactical mode.
I didn't. Reloading. All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. <laughs> Dark mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Move. You're down. Eat my grenade. Bye. See the red yellow markers? They represent kill zones. Not somewhere you want to be. Reinforcements at the No shit, I'm in every single freaking kill zone. <laughs> oh, hi. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, that's my explosive. That was quick. Oh, I screwed up. Oh no shit, Sherlock! Now release me. Dude. I fucked myself. Oh, I fucked myself. Tack mode info is synced across the team. One of us sees something, we all see it, even through cover. There we go. Thank you, Check ammo. Your ammo. Grab more if you need it. That's always so much fun. Bye-bye. D&I doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Game is the suits on the other side of this wall. Um Shit. I can't seem to be hacking cuz I fucked up. Uh, I, wait, uh, shit. Um, frick, 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 frick. I'll be gonna be right back maybe can I change out my loadout maybe 
something around here I can use to do that? No. Fudge. Uh. Uh oh. Ah, shit. I don't need that. Uh, um, fudge, 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 fudge. Where are... Uh, those stinking ammo crates everywhere. Oh, god dang it. Uh, here we go. This is what I need. I need to change up my loadouts. Which one? Uh, that's the core station. Uh, it's a weapon builder. Here we go. Oh wait, oh wait. Yeah, I, I need to do that anyway. Um, no, I don't have any fabrication kits. I forgot about that. Oopsie. Damn, uh, I forgot I didn't get any of that. I got the extended mag, suppressor, quick draw, fast mags. I'll just keep extended mag on. I don't have optics on this guy. Um, hell, why not? Um, yeah, I'm done with that. Wait, did I do what I need to do? No, I did not. Oh, yes, I did. Whatever. Uh... Deploy. Change shot before. Uh, control core. Yeah, this is what I need. Ah, frick, I for I, f I, I goofed again. Hopefully I'll be at a checkpoint. If I have to restart the entire little thing, um... I'll just human bio augmentation has become commonplace oh, across the frick. world. The sheer scale of this disaster has overwhelmed the authorities. Superstorms continue to hamper yeah, yeah, yeah. Region, hampering relief efforts. These are uncertain times. Our future depends upon the choices we make. As populations continue to expand, mega cities Here we go. Uh, let's see how far I am. If I have to, um... Yeah, I fucked up. The NRC are gonna be here soon. <sighs> we got about one minute to create the mother uh, of all I'll be right back, guys. I'll uh, more likely cut this little section out. Um, saving quit, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um... Never just one yeah. Word. High, low, left, right. Um, paths, different advantages. Yeah, I kind of goofed there. You got you. Got a lot of those termite grenades. All right, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Back mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Move. I got something. Oh, I ran over to the hundred fifty meters. Neat. Uh, 
Okay. See the red yellow markers? They represent kill zones. Not somewhere you want to be. Reinforcements at the truck. Got you. Got you. Oh, stay still, damn it. Dead shit. That was a grenade, or I got someone. Okay, I can't shoot through that. And bye. Oh no 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 no! Hi. I missed. Why? Come on. There we go. Thank you. Oh. A lot of y'all with that one. Oh, here you are. Bye bye, ouchie. Take another hit, I'm dead. Ooh, good. Miss me. Ah, you know what? Eat this. I'm just gonna walk up to you and bye. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other; it allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units—those are a whole lot trickier. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead, hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Um. I want to use this. Oh, I am going to have so much fun with you. Yo, you want to see something cool? Shoot down those bats. Ouchie. No, oh, I'm having so much fun with this. Ooh.
jacket there to here. <laughs> that has so much there she fun. is. Load that generator so we can get inside. Come on, show me your pretty face. Yeah, fire at point point range, dumbass. Okay, now you're dead. I'm afraid the EMP blast from the generator was fried your drum. Come on, let's go! Means all these nice little toys are down. Well... No. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. I'm gonna need to change my load out sometime soon. Hmm. sound in the background. That was my phone timing me for to kind of end it over. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I lived it all over again. What's happening to me? Shh. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. D&I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you 
gonna be fine. What happens now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault meant it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. We had been freaked out when you saw those robots. So, what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Yep. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. <laughs> And our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. <laughs> Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI.
buried beneath layers of security protocols, a subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a but coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. You said it yourself. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnels to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. <laughs> it's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. What do you think? Welcome, Chango Boom. <laughs> oh, more bots. You're taking heavy fire! Back up, back up! The ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. They're safe. They really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? And this is over? You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do <laughs> some damage. Not bad, new blood. Oh, that's fun.
good hunting. Interface with that door for me. <laughs> what is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. Yay. Back at the hack shit. Robots. They hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. Yay! Ooh. I need to hurry and get this over with. I'm getting tired. You want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, Probably wouldn't even have the cyber soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me, they'll consider you as much. Closer this time, aren't I? That's so funny every time.
whole thing's booby-trapped. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much, even with the computer in my head. There's no time. It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev train. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... Yep, it... There was no way to stop it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Yep. Sometimes, you have to let go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Yep. Oh. The increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic <laughs> negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendricks? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. Yay. I'm level 14 now. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> oh, I just got more extra stuff. Yay. Uh, yay. More experience. I'll continue. Uh, I'm further my way to level 15. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I'll be level 15 uh, before too long. Alright. Well, this is all the time I have for this episode, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if y'all want me to do any more games than what I plan to do at all, because uh, in the, f uh, the future, uh, the Destiny 2, for all of y'all that are looking forward to it, I have access to the beta like most people who have pre-ordered it. Um, I will be doing episodes on the beta, then once the game is officially released, I'll be doing episodes on that. Um, if y'all want me to do uh, any videos possibly on the Call of Duty... Uh, did it, um, yeah. Call of Duty World War Two. Uh, I'll see about uh, getting that. Um, hell, I've just recently uh, started getting back with uh, get my game jolt client, which is and it's still an experimental what they call a dev build, experimental build on it. Um, they have a lot of good games. I do suggest uh, che uh, checking them out. They have a lot, a lot of games on there. Games that you probably consider fun, who knows? I haven't checked them all out yet, but um, hell, uh, if y'all want me to do challenges, anything, hell, uh, I eventually plan to do more, plan to do maybe a vlog, maybe, I don't know when I'm going to do that, and maybe sometime in the near, uh, sometime in the future, do a live stream on, uh, on a game. But um, just leave a comment down below, and give me all those opinions, it'd be very much appreciated. Um, uh, other than that, please subscribe as well if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, click that bell, like, uh, bell icon down below to be notified of any videos I upload, whether it be vlogs, challenges, anything. Uh, also, if y'all want, uh, if you want your friends to, uh, to watch this too, if you, if you think they might be interested, let them know. Who knows, they might actually, uh, might actually like this. Um, 
that's all I've got to say for now. Um, this has been Black Ops 3 Campaign Part 2 with your good friend here, Dr. Spartan. I'll see you later, guys. Peace, my friends.